Hi, I'm Georgina. I'm one of the team of gardeners here at Hooton Lodge Gardens and I'm here for National Gardening Week. Okay, so Donna asked on Twitter, Hi, I have a peony in pot, Sarah Bernhardt. Its leaves are black and crispy and had silver on them last year. I tried to wipe it off with water. Is it dead and can I pee re repot it? Okay, um, Sarah Bernhardt's one of my favourite peonies um, for a start, so you don't want to lose it. I don't think it will be dead. It may have had botrytis or um, powdery mildew, both of which are fungal diseases. Um, in this case, you want to just remove all the leaves and destroy those so it can't be passed on to any other plant or any other peonies. And then you can lift and repot. It doesn't do any harm to repot potted plants every now and then anyway, as they will outgrow their pot. With a peony, you want to keep the eye of the tuber uh, one to two inches below the ground, below the soil level. You don't want to make it too deep as it may go blind and not flower for you, but I don't think it's dead. The only thing I would say is that peonies can get peony wilt, and if that is the case, the stems will almost be eaten away and go to mush and it's very easy to see that they've got wilt in this case it probably has died and you may need to buy a new one okay harry asks on twitter what is the best way to deal with slugs in the garden without risking harm to hedgehogs okay well that's a great one because um, we need to be really careful about the wildlife so here at hooton we uh, drench with nematodes so they're very very easy to find online they come in a in a container so big in a sort of powdery form they are living but they need to be activated so they're activated by putting them in a watering can uh, make sure you don't have too much of a fine rose head because they won't be able to get out through the holes but you dilute them with the correct amount of water and then pour onto your soil you ideally want to do this end of March May so uh, end of March April sorry so that you can get the first generation of slugs um, and that the nematodes work by rather nastily burying into the slugs and eating them but it's entirely organic um, and you kill off the first generation of slugs so they are then unable to make more you just have to make sure that you keep your soil uh, damp because they swim so they if we're not having any rain make sure it's watered okay thank you